वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास ऑन ए इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल्स इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पावर फ्लो इन ए सीरीज पैरेलल हाइब्रिड व्हीकल्स द पावर फ्लो इन ए सीरीज पैरेलल हाइब्रिड व्हीकल ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड इनटू टू टाइप्स वन इज आईसी इंजन डोमिनेटेड अनदर वन इज अ इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर डोमिनेटेड और बैटरी डोमिनेटेड लेट मी सी द पावर फ्लो इन ए सीरीज पैरेलल हाइब्रिड व्हीकल विद ए आईसी इंजन डोमिनेटेड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द सिक्स मोड्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन फर्स्ट वन इज द स्टार्टअप at the time of starting battery only providing a track to power to the vehicle ic engine will be off the power flow is shown in the diagram nothing but this battery will be supplying a power to the vehicle full throttle acceleration nothing but a, suppose if we are going a high speed on a vehicle by that time both battery and ic engine will be supplying a power to the vehicle that is shown here you see black arrow is showing the the power given by the ic engine directly see here this red arrow is showing the battery is giving a power to the vehicle normal drive generally in the normal driving the vehicle does not requires that much of power so ic engine dominated so ic engine only supplying a track to power where the battery will be off in condition so the fuel tank ic engine which is giving a track to power to the vehicle where the battery will not supply any power to the vehicle that's why we are not shown any arrow here normal braking and deceleration when the vehicle is going in downward direction by that time high kinetic energy will be stored in a wheels of a vehicle that is given back to the battery through the electric motor and converter in this direction that energy will be stored in a battery so that the speed of the motor will be decreases this type of braking is nothing but a regenerative braking in this mode of operation ic engine will be off in fifth mode charge the battery during the drive what are the track to power is required to the vehicle that will be supplied by the ic engine the excess of power will be given to the battery so that the battery will be stored this ic engine will be given on a mechanical power to the generator the generator will be converting the mechanical power into the electrical power this converter is converting the ac power to dc power that will be stored in a battery battery charging during the standstill condition suppose if the vehicle stopped at some area the battery does not have that much of charge by that time the ic engine will be giving a mechanical power to the generator the generator will be converting the mechanical power to the electrical power that is given to the power converter this power converter is bidirectional converter nothing but it does, it has a rectifier so the ac power will be converted into the dc power that will be charging the battery now we are going to see the power flow in a series parallel hybrid vehicle it is ev dominated nothing but a electric motor dominated now what is the basic difference between the ic dominated and electric vehicle dominated means only in a third stage only that we are going to see now again start up at the time of starting the battery only giving a power track to power to the vehicle where the ic engine will be off full throttle if your driver is giving a full throttle to the vehicle it requires high amount of power that power will be meet by the both ic engine as well as a battery that is shown with a two arrows one is black type arrows another one is a red type arrow in third stage due normal driving in case of a ic engine dominated during the normal driving ic engine is supplied a power to the vehicle but in case of ev dominated nothing but electric motor dominated the power, whatever the power is required to the vehicle during the normal driving that will be supplied by the battery only where the ic engine is off this mode of operation only the difference in a ic engine dominated and electric motor dominated remain all modes are same in both type so in this diagram only the battery is giving a track to power to the vehicle where the ic engine will be off normal braking and the deceleration what are the kinetic energy stored in wheels of a vehicle that is so the mechanical power we are given to the electrical motor so that the motor will be operating a generator the mechanical power will be converted into the electrical power that is the ac power so the ac power will be rectified by means of rectifier that is charging the battery where the ic engine will be off charging the battery during the driving the ic engine is supplying the excessive power to the generator this generator that is given to the rectifier this rectifier will be converted to ac power to the dc power that is charging the battery the track to power also will be given by the ic engine only this is the mode where battery charging during the driving standstill charging battery during the driving when the vehicle is stop 
the ic engine will be giving a mechanical input to the generator the generator will be converting the mechanical power to the ac power that will be given to the rectifier circuit this rectifier circuit will be converting the ac power to the dc power that will be charging the battery so in this manner the different modes of operation we have studied during the series parallel hybrid vehicle one is the ic engine dominated whereas the another one is the electric motor dominated thank you very much